This structure here is growing. From the left, we will put in the rigid PVC pipes, 12 of them. And on the other three sides, there are also openings. And that is where the flexible pipe that goes to the irrigation targets will then go out. And in the center, we can make the connections and also change this if we have to, or make repairs or something like that. So it's a good idea to have this. And also we are putting in 12 lines from the left, but not all 12 will be connected. So we need the structure to be able to finish this at a later point and maybe connect something else. This here below the house is Schneemann. He is sick and is hiding from the heat. We are not really sure if he is going to make it. Unfortunately, I have some bad news. We had eight dogs and now we have only seven because this one over here had been infected with something, probably bacteria caused by ticks and he's dead. He spent the last few days inaccessible under the house and somehow this morning he managed to come here. It used to be his favorite spot and he laid himself to rest here and he's now gone. So now I have to get the wheelbarrow and pick him up. And then we will bury him at the usual place where we do that. Tomorrow with the excavator. On the other hand, with Schneemann gone, the whole group is now a little bit more at peace. Because he always tried multiple times a day to explain his rank to each and every of the other, fem of the other males. So there's always the bully around. And now this whole group is now a little bit quieter. They all eat their meal in their respective spot. And there is nobody trying to push them around just because I'm the top dog and I can do it. So Karma, maybe. You could call it that way. So, with these seven, it is now a lot easier. And there will probably be less issues and less need for curing wounds. Because when they fight, of course, uh, they draw blood. So, things could be a little bit easier now with that one gone. Of course, uh, it is sad and it's a loss, but one has to see the overall picture. Because he has been picking on each of those. And Oliver has a split ear and Oliver split Schneemann's ear because Oliver did not want to be at the bottom of the pack. Those are those things. Here our little construction site 
has seen some progress. So we have this concrete slab and the only missing piece is to put the water tank on top of it and then connect it. The pump for that is on its way. Then we have this structure here. This will be buried once the pipes have been installed. And then we can do some maintenance of the connections if necessary. And we could place the valves into that. That, that is an option. But I rather have them on the inside. On the inside means there. But this would be a place. But we do this in this way so that we can reconnect and maybe remove a line and then connect it in a different way. So that is in there where we then can do this. I show you a little bit more once we come to that point. But you can see that this masonry work has been done. We needed to get a little bit close to these two Palovnia trees here and there. But as you can see, they are alive, they are making leaves. And they have the roots on the other side. Those roots are still very tiny, so you can see them a little bit there on the other side of the pipe, sticking out. So that's a little bit sad that it has the roots here, but it has more roots on the other side, obviously. And so this tree will not die because of that. But we had to get this out of the way because here, where this pile is now, there will be a driveway and of course we need a space between there and there to drive with a vehicle here. And this will be an area with Bermuda grass reinforced so that we can drive a vehicle over it without creating a mud area when it rains in winter. So and here on the inside there should be also a modification right so there it is so this is a little platform here and there we will place the water pump and now it is also the time for Angel to redo this the proper way so that the dripping will then also be gone so we will use the proper valves I mentioned in the previous video that those on that side are the wrong type of valve we got sent them by accident and uh, thought falsely that these were the right ones. The correct ones are the four to the right. And uh, we have to redo this. And then this will be attached to the wall and uh, there we have then the control for everything. The cables we still have to run to the outside. And that is because the Wi-Fi connection that the controller needs does not work on the inside the signal is too weak too weak so the controller is hanging there on the wall and there we have a so-so connection the distance isn't that great uh, isn't that big so the connection should be great but uh, it isn't and it might probably because of the metal roof on top of it or something else but it works and it does not fail, so we are good there. And of course, there is another trench that we also have to fill with those uh, water lines, and it will all come together once the uh, once the cypress trees have been planted and we are done with all the urgent irrigation work. The little bit of rain that we had. You see, there are still some darker clouds. wasn't that much. It was a shower. And it provided 0.1% of relative humidity. So I could see an increase. A little, a little bump. So this is not really rain, but uh, it was refreshing. And right now, we don't have this scorching sun like we usually have. It is a lovely afternoon and nobody is dying because of the heat. So the temperature is now regular, but it's still summer. So it is definitely very pleasant. This year, 
looks like it is going to be very good for us. So after all that drought that we had, this time it's looking great. So I got him onto this wheelbarrow and I will now bring him into the shade. And tomorrow Angel and I, with the help of the excavator, will bury him. And that's part of life. There is nothing one can really do about it. This is nature. This is how a very long electrical cable came to us and we have deployed it and we did a test this morning and I'm going to tell you what this test is about. So that cable is some 350 maybe 400 meters long and we unrolled it all the way from the farmyard here behind me to the place where we have the irrigation for the Sunhemp and friends. So this is our area that we call A11. And this is a 300 something meter distance. And the idea is to bring electrical service to this place so that we can run an access point for our Wi-Fi network there and also run a solenoid valve controller, those devices that we use that are made by Rainbird. And this morning I made a test and yes, we do have electricity there and therefore I was able to install temporarily a Wi-Fi access point. And now I am carrying with me here in the back two cameras, <laughs> because we can, <laughs> that is the thing. So I'm now about to install these two cameras so that we can watch the plants grow. Who would have guessed that, that we can use cameras for such a purpose. So this area now is equipped with soil moisture, temperature and conductivity sensors. And soon, in a couple of minutes, it will have two cameras. So that we can observe what's going on. There is a practical application for this, because that way we can see that all the sectors are irrigated the right way. And because this now, now is uh, basically an important crop, it's not a cash crop, but uh, soon, um, well, next year, um, there will be Paulovnia trees, and that's going to be a cash crop. But for the time being, it will be interesting to see what happens there, especially at night time. Because we do have wildlife here and those animals can do things and it will be interesting to see. And also when the irrigation is on it helps to see that everything is working and that the right sector is being irrigated and things like that. So now I need to go down there this and go there. And now that I have almost arrived, I can show you in beautiful sunlight how this um, area already looks like. It is getting greener and greener by the day. We had rain overnight. And more and more should germinate and start growing. So the area there where it is green, very green, that is where we irrigated early on so this has a head start and therefore it looks a lot better i have to go here and the area across 
the animal pass that by the way will be removed um, is also becoming green we are waiting for more wobblers they should arrive later this week and then we can finish the installation of the irrigation system here and in a previous video i think i showed you already that we started to excavate and loosen up the soil mechanically there so that we can plant the cypress trees and my hope is that once all this has been achieved basically we are through with all these things that we wanted to achieve now we can let things grow and dedicate ourselves to other things Angel will take a week off or so and then we can make plans for the other part of the year while the plants are growing so here I am this soon couple of days will have solenoid valves instead of shutoff valves and the controller there you can see a box that contains a switch a network switch and also power over ethernet adapter that gives the switch the power of course the electrical cable is uh, installed in not the right way there will be a breakout box here so that the electricity can power what's in that box and also the controller for the solenoid valves and up there there is an access point and this has a directional antenna to focus the beam a little bit more into the direction of the farmyard where the counterpart is it might work without but i wanted to try this and we also have wi-fi here so there is uh, is a back beam and all around not as focused at the other side but there's always signal so that means here where i'm standing we have perfect wi-fi connection which also will allow the controller to hook onto it and we can do a video call from here without any problem so this is now all connected i will not bother to attach the cables there nicely because uh, there will be a little bit more modifications but let's see how this works and that we can observe the plants grow so it appears that the speed on that wi-fi link from here to the farmyard over there is not enough to support two cameras i get only a megabit of throughput and that's uh, not that much it might be that this can be improved with another of these access points that have a directional antenna instead of the omnidirectional one that we have there so i bought two of them and i will have to try to give them a pair on the other side and if that does not work either then ubiquity has other equipment that provide gigabit links over long distances so there's always an option but i have to do this incrementally because i can't buy something out of the blue and then end up not needing it so i rather buy something that can be used in many different situations and i walk my way up and then that's easier also it is also good to make this experience because i have done networking back in the day in 1994 when i had my own isp but back then it was wired and we had other things instead of this but uh, now there is technology available and uh, well i'm trying to use it it is very late afternoon it's a lot cooler now and i'm on my way to fix the connection issue i have now placed a different type of antenna on the other side also so i can experiment and i wanted to show you the horses here 
they are munching on the grass, on the Bermuda grass that is, that they can find in between. So if I go over here, I can show you the Bermuda grass. And that is what they are eating together with the standing hay, basically. So this is working out very good because they are letting light in. And there's a little bit of moisture that Bermuda grass grows. That is supposed to be summer forage, but of course you need to have the right conditions and not too many animals all the time. That does not mean no animals, but you just have to move them around and then have a holding place. So I'm still convinced that this idea of rotational grazing does work, but you have to remove them and only let them graze for a certain period of time. Of course, with three horses roaming, that's a lot easier and basically done on autopilot because they do this by themselves. But if you would do this with cattle, it would also work. But you just have to have a place. And we would have continued that given that the market would allow us to sell our beef for a good price. And that was the main reason why we removed the cattle, because there's no problem in bringing in straw and feed and keeping them in a holding place while the area recovers. But right now, the nuisance is gone and this is a lot better. So we can focus on new things. And I'm going to make my way up there now and uh, finish my networking stuff. So apparently the modification that I made worked and I can now use both cameras and have good image. I figured out how to make the connection a little bit more stable and therefore it has more performance and it will connect happily to the access point there on the other side. So that's a success and we now have plant cam. So we have chicken cam and now we have two ways, uh, two times plant cam. Makes me very happy. Of course, this is a thing because we can. This is not really required. We can come here and have a look. And we have sensors that do not require to send us an image 24 seven about the plants. But because we can, it is nice to have. 